One of the applications of a geometric sequence, uh, in this case an infinite geometric sequence, is that you can take a repeating decimal and turn it into a fraction. So what we're going to do in this question first is separate our decimal into the non-repeating part, so that's the 3.8, and then the repeating part. So when you see a 2 with a bar over top of it, or any number with a bar over top of it, that just means that we're going to continue those 2s forever. So it would look something like this, 0 0.022222, on and on and on. OK, so how do we turn each of these into fractions? Well, a non-repeating number is really easy to turn into a fraction. Simply divide by the appropriate value of 10 or 100 or 1,000. So it's 3.8. We only have one decimal place, so we divide by 10. That's one with one zero. All right, this one's a little more complicated. What you have to realize is that this is a sequence where you have an initial value of 0 0.02, and then each term after that is the other two, which is going to be 10 times smaller. So what that means is it looks like this, 0 0.02 plus 0 0.002, and so on. So this is our sequence. So what we're going to do with this sequence is realize that our initial term is 0 0.02, which can be easily now turned into a fraction. That would be 2 over 100. And it's an infinite sequence. It continues forever. So our n is infinity. And our r value, you can, there's a few ways to figure out the r value. You can just sort of recognize that decimals are each um, digit is 10 times smaller, or you can take any two terms and divide them. In this case, we've taken the second term and the first term, and that would be one tenth. All right, now that we know those values, let's go ahead and plug them into our sum, because the sum of these terms will be the value of all of the them put together, or more importantly, the value of the original repeating part of our original number. So when we plug these in, we've got two over 100 on top for our a value, one minus one tenth. Let's start simplifying that. We need a common denominator here at the bottom in order to subtract the fraction. So we're going to turn the 1 into 10 over 10. That would be, after the subtraction, 9 over 10. Now we need to use our rules for fractions. When you're dividing fractions, the easiest thing to do is flip the bottom fraction and multiply instead. Now the 10 and the 100, you can divide both of those by 10, and you'll end up with 2 over 90. So the sum of all of the repeating parts of this is 2 over 90. So the final step is to take our two fractions and add them together. To do that, you're going to need to create a common denominator. So again, we're going to multiply top and bottom of this one by 9 to get 342 over 90. And now we can add our numerators, 344 over 90. You do want to simplify that as po if possible. So in this case, both of those do divide by 2. So there's your final answer, 172 over 45. Now, if you were to take a calculator and plug in 172 divided by 45, it will tell you that is 3.8 and then a bunch of 2s.